them in just a moment. Uh, my name is Jeremy Rockford. I'm one of the high school band directors and love, would, would love to talk to with you about any questions you have about high school and uh, keep you playing in music, specifically in band. We'd love you to honor the investment of time and money that you put in already and take it on to the next level and keep keep growing as a musician. So we're here to celebrate your sounds and we want to introduce you to a few of the things that are available to you at the high school level. So this one is the drum line. So on the drum line here we have percussion specialists, but drum line members who are um, not percussionists as your primary, would you just wave to the audience? You play something else in band. So any band student that is a part of the program can audition for the drum line. You should look for that material right around the spring break time. And then in early April, we want to do an audition and get you rolling because the parade season starts like right away after graduation and takes us all the way through the state fair. And then these guys are really active in the, the football scene in the fall. And we have some select winter games for hockey and basketball. But this is one of their favorite things to do are these concerts. The, we did one last week for the central eighth grade band and they're happy to be back again and do it for the, the Sunrise Park crew. We do have a couple of uh, alumni that are back and helping lead these guys and help with the music. Uh, one is Miss Katie Miller. She's worked really hard with them, and she's a central alumni. But the second one, Mr. Evan Hakamaki, is a Sunrise Park alumni. So we have one from each of the middle schools back and working with these students. They all went on to college and um, one at the U, U of um, or Eau Claire, excuse me, in Wisconsin, and the one at the U Madison in Wisconsin, and both were active in marching groups. These, this winter feature will show you off a little bit of all of the instruments on the line. I want to shout out to Mr. Ethan Anderson here on snare, put a lot of time and energy into arranging this piece for you this evening. All right, and the last thing I just want to kind of highlight, this is really our last scheduled performance of the season. We started sweating together way back in late April, early May, and this is kind of the last thing we know we're going to do for sure. So I want to honor the seniors that have been on the line for several years, many of them, and this is kind of our last goodbye. So kind of going on down the row, way back on big bass drum number four. Lucas, thanks for all your work. Awesome. And then splitting on either side of me, Mr. Owen Custer. And Mr. Ben Grimm, thanks for your work, guys. All right, without further ado, take it away, winter drum line feature.
Thanks everyone for being here. Hi, I'm Christina Pierre. I'm the principal at Sunrise Park. I'm very happy to welcome you to our eighth grade band concert. Uh, we're very proud of the work our students have done so far this year and we're always thrilled to have our high school friends join us. So uh, sit back, relax, remember to silence your cell phones and enjoy the show. Hi, I'm Connor, and I'm a percussionist. We welcome to the eighth grade winter concert. Thank you for being here. Our first piece is a colorful arrangement of lively and spirited Renaissance dances. Many times when historical music is arranged for a young band, it is changed and simplified. There is no watering down of this music. It is held very close to the form that originated in the mid 1500s. From proud to stately to light and energetic, this is Bob Margolia's arrangement of Talman Sutato's Soldier's Possession and Sword Dance. Please hold your applause until both movements have been performed. Perpetually hungry. 
Its prey tries to escape into the darkness, but the carnivore draws ever closer into prey becomes meal. As the sun goes down, the carnivore emerges, ever hungry, always seeking. Its prey hides in the night, ever knowing when the carnivore will find it. This is Carnivore by Jason Nitsch. Hello, thank you so much for being here. I'm Miss Gear, but I think I know all of you already because this is our third year together. Um, and I know you probably get tired of hearing me say it at concerts, but this is the band that learned how to play their instruments online. Like totally at the big, well, it wasn't even the beginning of the year. I don't know when it was. It was, I don't know, that whole year is a blur, but um, they, uh, we did it over a computer screen. I was in my laundry room on a computer, and they were, I don't know where, on their computers, and I didn't think that that would work, and it totally worked. They are amazing musicians. Isn't this amazing? Um, so this, this next piece is the last piece they will play as an eighth grade band um, in this concert. And then we're going to invite our high school friends on stage uh, for, our, for our, the last part of the concert. Um, so I just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you to many people. And if my colleagues are in the audience, I don't have my cheat sheet right now, so can you just yell at me when I forget things? Okay, thank you. 
Um, so first of all, um, thank you to Sunrise staff and Sunrise administrators for all their support. We have an amazing lesson program at Sunrise we, uh, where our teachers um, value it just as much as we do. These students can come out of their classes and, and get individual or small group lessons on their instruments and that's awesome. So we, we really appreciate uh, the support at Sunrise from all of our staff. Um, thank you to uh, our Music Booster organization. If you are, uh, if you're interested in getting involved in um, in that organization, please look at the at the program for some information about that. Uh, and uh, I have, we have our high school, my high school colleagues here, Mrs. Anderson and Mr. Rockford, who are, uh, we're an amazing, cohesive uh, group of instrumental music teachers. Um, and I, I like, love working with all of them. And then uh, we have um, our Sunrise instrumental music teachers here. And we are definitely a team. Um, Ms. Altoff and Mr. Weinhold, uh, we, we uh, make decisions together and teach each other's students and um, collaborate on so many things. And thank you parents for your support of these um, awesome young musicians. Um, and then finally, but most importantly, thank you students for, um, for sticking with with uh, at, together through some crazy years, and you've come out as just an awesome group of, of musicians um, and uh, an eighth grade band that I'm very, very, very proud of. Um, so I will invite our, did I forget anything? Okay. <laughs> um, I will invite our, uh, our next student speaker up. Thanks again for coming tonight. I'm Emily and I play clarinet. Our next selection is a powerful and exciting Spanish march that has kept us on our toes with lots of tempo changes and interesting rhythms. It was written to capture the flair and fury of the Spanish tradition of the bullfight. This is Spana by David Schaefer. Thank you. 
All right, we have a little set change here that'll take just a minute for our high schools to come to the stage, high schoolers to come to the stage. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Shannon Anderson. I am the band director at South Campus and team teach also with Mr. Rockford at North Campus. We are your high school team. The group that you see in front of you is 11th and 12th grade students who are currently at South Campus. If you went to Sunrise Park Middle School, could you stand up, South Campus? Or wave, if you're a percussionist, wave. There you go. Fantastic, have a seat. It's always good to see, like, oh, I, I, was, I was there. So eighth graders, these folks were once in your spot, playing the same kind of music, same level music. And, and so as you think about high school, sometimes it's easy to feel a little bit intimidated. Sorry, audience, I'm talking to them for just a second. Um, but you'll see that over time, you'll grow just like you do at anything else, and it's a lot of fun. Um, I would love to give these kids just a second to talk to each other. Are you okay with that? Yeah, they came in here and did a little bit of warm up together, but just in case eighth graders, you have a question about what that high school thing is really like, these are kids who could tell you about it a little bit. So I'm gonna give you like 30 seconds just to talk to each other, ask questions, South Campus, introduce, make friends learn names, and then while you're doing that, I'll tell the audience. Uh, when I went to college, I went to the University of Colorado, and I walked onto a campus of 35, 40,000 people, and I was able to just join the band and be with a group of people who did something that I did. It was fantastic. Audience, you can talk amongst yourselves also. If you have any questions about high school, you can also ask us. We are going to play a medley from the musical Chicago. You may have had a chance to see that. It was the musical that our high school performed this year. So you'll hear a few tunes from that. You'll hear a couple soloists as well. Um, we are going to take just a tuning note before we start. And then we'll get on with the show.
As Mr. Rockford mentioned, there are a lot of things to look forward to at the high school. One of those is travel. We are taking a trip to New York City this year. Um, we take a big trip every other year. We take a jazz trip on the opposite years. We also have students who in band and choir in the state of Minnesota, if they're outstanding musicians and just fantastic people, their band or choir director can nominate them to take a tour in Europe and that will happen on even years. So that will be coming up and it's typically ninth through 11th graders that can be nominated for that trip. So travel is fun and fantastic. And as I mentioned, you can play your instrument in college, you can play your instrument in community band, you can play it in the military. When I moved here from Colorado 17 years ago and knew no one, I joined a community band so I can meet a few people um, just outside of work. So there's always some person playing an instrument you can get together with. The other thing that I like to tell my students and remind them about is the idea that creating music Doing something that is larger than yourself is really special. It's a place where you can be expressive. And the way that these kids played that piece of music tonight, that's the only time it's ever gonna sound just quite like that. We create this artwork and then it's, it's gone. It's just sound waves, so you really have to um, savor every moment. So it's very, very special. You'll also probably like to know that there are math team members, knowledgeable members, debate, speech team members, people in the musical, people playing pit orchestra, tons of athletes, anywhere from our varsity football team, wrestling, soccer, swimming, um, let's see, track, cross country, um, ice skating, we have some figure skaters, um, we have hockey, we have ultimate frisbee, we have, yeah, we have Nordic skiers, we have alpine skiers, we have, Volleyball, we have volleyball, we have every, everything um, that a kid can do and they can still make music um, with really fantastic people. So it's really good to surround yourselves with fantastic peers as I'm sure we all kind of know and think about as parents. So just putting that out there. Um, I think at this time I'll turn it back over to Ms. Gear. So thank you so much for having us out to play um, for you and with you tonight, it's a pleasure. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, we're almost done. That sounded awesome. High schoolers, thank you so much for playing for us and in an interesting way amongst the eighth graders, the eighth graders amongst you. Um, this is one of my favorite concerts every year because of this part of the concert where they get to, you know, the eight, you eighth graders get to watch and hear the band play like and just be sitting amongst the music. It's my favorite, favorite part. Um, so we're gonna play together now, and I am so excited. We've only heard little tiny parts of this so far. I am so excited. Look at that percussion section. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Um, at, at the end of this concert, um, the eighth graders have, they each have one job because our amazing, awesome colleagues at Central uh, are lending us many of their instruments, and each eighth grader has just one instrument to move, and it will probably take 15 minutes or so if there are people who want to stick around and uh, help until the stage is completely clear. That's awesome, but I totally understand if you're gonna get out of here right away. Um, thank you again for coming, and enjoy our last piece. Hello, I'm Hunter and I play oboe. The use of syncopated rhythms plus a lively and busy percussion section make Blues Machine a funny, ja fun and jazzy way to end our concert with you tonight. Thank you to Miss Anderson and her South Campus Wind Ensemble for making music with us tonight. Please enjoy our last song, Blues Machine by Carl Stroman.